This is MikeBot. Today I'm going to be showing everyone how to repair 3D prints that have issues in them. So over here I'm showing a print that had several failures on it due to four power outages while it printed. This took about three and a half days to print. It was over 3000 filament changes and it was a multicolor print on my P1P. This was a beast of a print for my P1P. And due to the damn power outages, there are a little bit of holes in it, unfortunately, from the nozzle cooling down and having to heat up again. But I found a way to fix this. I've been working on this method for a while now, and now I'm ready to show this solution to everybody. So in order to do this fix, you need to go on Amazon and you need to buy some clay. You need to buy air dry clay, self hardening clay. Those are the two bags right there I showed. There's a big package of it. And then if you want, you can buy just regular clay, uh, which you can remove and put back in after a while, but it doesn't dry. So highly recommend you get a little bit of both so you can play around with them and experiment. So the beauty of this clay is that it's very easy to work with. And once it dries, it's clean. It's perfect with the print. You can't really see the clay at all, which is amazing. And it's a good, easy way to fix it. Now you can always touch everything up with an airbrush afterwards or a paintbrush, but you don't really need to for the most part. So make sure you grab yourself some scribers and basically the scribers, as you can see in the video here, they're gonna help you kind of poke everything in and make everything flush and clean. And I'm telling you, this clay solution I've been working on has saved a lot of prints that had tiny little issues here and there, and you can't even see them. It would be a shame to get rid of this print because of the errors in it. It took three and a half days and several hours. So here's what it looks like with the clay fixed. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to patch several areas with the white. Uh, I do attempt to patch the brown at some point in this, but the brown isn't damaged enough so the clay couldn't take into it, or at least the hardening clay couldn't. Now, if I use the softer clay, I could easily make that fit because it's softer to work with. It's easier. This stuff here is more like, um, uh, I don't know how to say, like, I guess a, a goo. It's a gooey type clay, but it hardens. So it becomes part of your print permanently. And uh, as I'm using the scriber here, highly recommend you get them. I have, a, I think, easily 30 some scribers at this point. Each one has a different purpose. And I've used Scriber since the day I started 3D printing. They help to remove supports. They help with a ton of stuff. So I'm just going to fast forward this entire section here. Uh, so look for a link in the comments section on the two different types of clay you can get. Once again, you want the uh, air dry clay. And the other one doesn't air dry or anything, but it's nice because you can remold it anytime you want. So you can see it's kind of almost perfectly flush. So I'm going to keep working away at it slowly here in the video. And I'm just going to fast forward through the rest of it. And uh, we'll skip right to the end. So if you enjoyed this quick fix, make sure you hit that like button and make sure you leave a comment below. If you didn't like it, let me know why in the comment section and I'll improve on the next video. Uh, thank you all for watching today. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel. That's it for now. Mike Bot out.